It's called a metabolic makeover. It produces benefits that you can see, feel, and measure in a very short period of time, usually a matter of days, certainly weeks. And you can measure those benefits when you go to see your doctor for your annual physical or when you get on a scale and you, you look at your body composition, whatever it is. Here's what's important about the metabolic makeover, that energy is driving everything, right? Energy is driving every repair function in your body is driven by a certain amount of energy. And this, this, this energy has various names and, and, and people refer to it in different ways, but it's energy that is produced by the cells of your body, right? And it's important because energy is the currency of life. And you know that, but, but when, everybody knows that, but when you look at where people are going to get energy, they're going out there for it. They're going to Starbucks or they're going to, they're going to Red Bull or Rockstar or Monster or whatever it is that they're getting that they think they're getting energy from and they're not. Here's, here's energy. Here's caffeine. It's different. It's different, right? It's remarkably different. But you would think that all those people were getting real energy, and they're not. You've got to understand where energy comes from. Now, the fuel that people use to create energy, there's two fuels for human energy, primarily. Basically, fat, which is great because it's slow, steady energy, and of course, sugar. And by sugar, I mean all of the saccharides that come from all the starches and sugars in the diet. So basically, human beings are either going to be burning fat or sugar or a mixture of the two. 20% of people in North America are really good at burning fat. They're really good, efficiently burning fat and, and even sitting in the chair, right? In fact, you may be sitting next to one of these people. They're called the naturally thin people, right? We don't like them, but, <laughs> but we know they exist, right? If you didn't win the DNA lottery, then you're in the 80% of people. And, and here's what we can say to you. DNA is not destiny because of the metabolic makeover, listen to my words, and this is not exaggerating, we've been able to prove it and publish it. We can give any motivated person the metabolic advantages of a naturally thin person. Are you interested? The unfit person goes to the gym. Do they have a great time? No, the unfit person goes to the gym and feels like they've been hit by a bus, right? And so what we had to do is we, we had to develop something that could help people get off the couch when you give a, a, a lab rat or a mouse, any rodent, and you give them the standard American diet, right? High sugar, high fat diet. And then you look at what happens to their genome. You look at what happens at the DNA level. Basically what happens in that animal is the genome of that animal goes, look at all this sugar, we never have to burn fat. Let's just turn off all those fat burning pathways. And it turns them off because burning fat is metabolically very expensive. It's very complicated. It's, it's very arduous. Moving fat from, for example, in a human body, moving fat from your thigh. First of all, the fat has to be solubilized so it can travel through the bloodstream. That isn't easy. And then it has to go to the liver where the liver has to take it apart and make fuel out of that. And then it has to ship those molecules to your muscles to contract your muscles. So burning fat is a little bit difficult. It's ex metabolically expensive. So burning sugar is like this. Right? It's fast, but it's short. So when you have a diet that is high in carbohydrates, especially if those carbohydrates are simple carbohydrates, what you have is the, 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 the epigenetic decline in your ability to burn fat, because your body will not create all those enzymes and transport proteins if it doesn't have to. And it doesn't have to because there's an infinite supply of sugar coming into your body. So you get it? So what we said was, okay, that being the case, and we have identified the specific pathways that have been turned off by a high carbohydrate diet, wouldn't it be interesting, since we have the largest medicinal plant library in the world, wouldn't it be interesting if we spent years, and we spent years, combing through this library for compounds that you could eat that were natural from plants that would turn those pathways back on? We're going to give you more energy so that you get off the couch. Number two, when you work out, you'll be burning fat so you won't feel like you've been hit by a bus. And number three, we added a product so that the next day you don't hurt. Because when we interviewed, all these people. I mean, we interviewed hundreds of people. Why is it that you don't exercise? What is it that's, that, well, number one, they said, I don't have the energy. I go to the gym and it, and it feels terrible, and the next day every muscle in my body hurts. And we said, well, that's what we have to do. We have to get people, give people more energy. We have to make sure they can burn fat so that they have a high, listen to this, a high exercise tolerance.
Imagine a triangle, right? At the peak of that triangle, there is something that you and everyone you know wants, and that's called peak health. We all understand that you cannot experience peak health if you're not physically fit. So we put physical fitness right here in the middle, right? And that's where everybody's been banging on you for the last 50 years. Underneath that, there is one more layer. There's one more foundation that you must have before you can become physically fit, and that is you must be metabolically fit. Fitness, strength, stamina, endurance, and ah! Right? We all remember ah! We all remember waking up in the morning we all do. You have to go back some time a ways, but we all remember waking up and we can't wait to get into the day because of all the extraordinary things we're going to experience. This is life. You got to wake up on fire for life. And so you can't do that if you're not metabolically fit. And the whole point being that when people become metabolically fit, does it change their life? Oh yeah. Raise your hand if it's changed your life. I mean, in ways that you can see and feel and measure. And everyone that you know is, is in a spiral. It's, they're either in a downward spiral, all right, or they're in an upward spiral. And, and it, the chance of someone, as the decades go by, staying in that upward spiral makes it more and more and more difficult because there's things working against you metabolically. So the metabolic makeover is for who? Everybody. Everybody, it's for athletes who, who want to who wanna jump higher and, and run faster. It's for young people who understand metabolically that they're in that golden age, but they need to hold on to that metabolic advantage. It's, for, it's even for naturally thin people, because you got to know that age is the, age is the great equalizer. <laughs> I don't want you to be one of those naturally thin people who looks in the mirror at age 45 and goes, what the heck? <laughs> All right? So you have to understand that if you're a naturally thin person, the metabolic makeover will, will allow you to keep that metabolic advantage into your 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. The point is, is this is a marathon, folks. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. And we're helping you to understand that and to take action that will get you into a future that is brighter than you could possibly ever have a imagined.